Hello and welcome to Infinity. In masking in Infinity, you can uh, you can edit the mask in various ways. But one of the things you can't really do is put in something like curves or other adjustments onto it, particularly as a live effect. So here's a way of having that same effect, but using the Arrays Blend mode. So let's look at this. If I put up a mask layer here, so I've got a mask above the mask here, and I go to a paintbrush and I paint in black on here, it pokes a hole through. And the mask is white around the rest of it, and that just has a, the picture is not changed. So and if I delete that and put in a pixel layer, now if I paint black on it, then I've got a black line. However, if I change the blend mode now, down to Arrays, all the way at the bottom, I've got the same effect as a mask. Only now, where I've painted, it's like the black on the mask, and where it's transparent, it is like the white on a mask. So I can use this in any way at all. If I can create a, a layer where there is transparency and not, then I can use that like a mask. Let's show an example of doing it. So I'm going to hit Control J twice, and then Shift click of the top two and Control G to form a group. I'm doing this because the Erase Blend mode will erase everything below it until it hits the end of a group and then it stops. So the top one here, I'm going to call that Mask. And I'm going to change the blend mode of that to Erase. You can't see the effect here because I've got the bottom layer on, but I'll turn that off. You can see, there you go, the mask has poked all the way through here because all the pixels here are opaque. Right, so let's do something with this to create some transparency. And the way to do that, and there's many ways, I could paint on it even. If you're going to paint, paint using the Erase uh, brush. But I can go here and go to the Blend Options or Blend Ranges. Use the left hand graph, and if I pull down the whites there, they become visible. So that's one way of bringing up the whites as a mask. Another one here, I can pull down, there we go, the blacks. And so I'm making the darker parts visible. And I can even take off the linear here, I can so I can curve this up here and select part of this. But if I want to like to select a bit more of this. Then a way to do that is put curves on the mask. So I'll put on curves and I need to drag this down onto the mask. Now then, when I do this, this area that I've masked, see I'm changing it. So I can so effectively darken that down, select the area so I've got a better selection through that. And then I can even go to the group itself and then change the blend mode of that. To do that, I first of all need to turn on the bottom layer here. Now change the blend mode of the group, and I can have effects here. So if I go to multiply, I've used a multiply to darken that area which I've selected, and I can even go and change that and go back to the curves, for example, on here, and change this effect on the mask. I can go to the mask itself and change the Blend Ranges effect. So there you've got a completely flexible masking system. That's it and thank you very much for watching.